Welcome back YouTube to another video and today's topic I just wanted to touch on Tyler the Creator's new album Chromocopia and today I wrote down notes today I wrote down notes and honestly this album was underwhelming I'm gonna start with that it was underwhelming because of the idea I had in my head for it especially with the Chromocopia ad I was kind of led astray you know and I was like, oh, this is going to be like an upbeat, simple title of the creator, drums, trumpets, everything, um, singing and everything. And I'm not going to lie. I was shocked. The production, 10 out of 10. The choirs, 10 out of 10. Flow, everything, transition, perfect. I didn't even know I was in the next song. I was listening to Noid. And I didn't know I was on the next song, which was, I hope you find your way home. Because it just sounded effortlessly, effortlessly. It did not feel like I was being bothered or whatever. Oh, this is to the next song. It, from top to bottom, they flowed perfect, perfectly. And I'll have to say this. Perfectly the right number of songs. Perfectly. From St. Chroma all the way to I hope you find your way home. Absolutely perfect absolutely perfect 11 tracks wait is it 11 tracks one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen perfect perfect we don't need like 20 tracks i feel like that just dilutes that and i know right here he had a message because in 15 tracks an artist can tell you he wants something to, to be said and in when he has something to be said there is no there is no extended tracks, like 20 tracks or whatever. Oh man, this is all the songs I have them, all that. Like Donda and everything. Like Donda had a message, but it we, we lost it like after 20. We lost it after 20. So I love that. So let's start off with St. Chroma. Honestly, this song, upbeat, it starts off strong. It gives you a message. Hey, don't change for nobody. I'm going to make it out. I'm going to make it out. And I think this is just a callback to him. You know, I like this song. Very upbeat. Very, had a theme to it. And I loved it. Production, perfect. Production is just perfect. Like Tyler just has perfected it. And you can you can see that. Ratata, I feel like Ratata is him flexing. Noid, I am going to say he's paranoid. He's definitely paranoid. Uh, he's always watching his back, the fans, whatever. And honestly, I I feel like he's being honest with us. Like, hey, I don't want really like to be taking pictures. And I honestly, I can see that. You're a normal human being. You don't want to be, you don't want to wake up at one day, Saturday. You want to be to yourself. You want to walk down to the, your favorite coffee shop and get a drink and that's it. But you don't want to go there and then the fans start geeking out. But then if you do something, then it's going to end up on TMZ. I can understand that. Darling, I, Hey Jen, and I Killed You, and Judge Judy. Maybe if I take out I Killed You. Darling, I, um, Hey Jane, and Judge Judy definitely had a message there. Darling, I, I've not, I'm not got, I've not gotten it, so I may have to listen to it again. But Hey Jane, definitely, he was some girl he was dating, wanted a kid. I think they're both at that age. Her, she's worried about her ovaries. Which you should at that age at 34, you want to have a kid, you want to settle down, everything. But Tyler, I think he's having doubts of himself stepping up, you know, having a kid and maybe he's being selfish and all that stuff. And he doesn't know. And he calls that back again. At, I hope you find your way home. Maybe telling her, hey, I hope you find I hope you find someone that's going to have a kid with you and settle down and be the person you want me to be that I'm not at this time and place. And Tyler calls back to this throughout the whole album especially with the songs from tomorrow i thought i was dead like him balloon and i hope you find your way home here tyler is telling us his worries you know he's telling us hey but i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna come to that but i killed you i think he's killing his old self and he's not trying to mature he's 33 
which is crazy. And Judge Judy still don't having gotten the theme of that. Sticky, I think it's just a hit, but I could be wrong. I still gotta listen to it more. And take your mask off. This right here, when I was listening to it, I was kind of listening to. He was definitely spinning. He was saying, he was saying something here, so I definitely re-listened to it. At first, I was like, is he talking about Drake? I don't know why something told like like that. Like, oh my gosh, he's, he's talking about Drake. But in this album, when I when I when I once tomorrow finished, I was like, let me go back and listen to that song. Because at that point, that's when I was listening. I was like, oh, he's trying to tell me something. He's trying to say, he's trying to open up to himself. And honestly, this is when I realized he's talking to us and him. I, I could be wrong on that too, but I'm going to say us and him. Take off your mask. Take off the old me. I just want to be a new person. I want to change. I want to be better. I want to... I'm getting old. My mom's getting old. I need to change. So I... I definitely say this is one of my favorite songs. And then we go to tomorrow. Mom is asking, I need a grandchild. And it's just like, he. I don't know if he can give it to her. Because he sees my mom's getting old. I'm getting a little bit fatter. And this demand on him, he understands it too. I think he understands it because now he's 33 and maybe he's still enjoying the fruits of his success and he's, he feels like it's too early as a man at that age at 33 and you have and you're top of the world you're well known all that stuff you kind of clearly see you're like yeah i could write this out for a little bit you know 20s were like really but now you're really coming to your prime and you're like i'm maybe getting a little fat and all that stuff but i still got it i still got it i still i can still be out here and be me and be but he sees that he requires change and tomorrow is coming. Tomorrow is going to come and it requires him to be a different person. I thought I was dead. I'm not sure about that one. I didn't really, I didn't really jot down notes for that one. Like him. I think this is just a wild, this is a wild pr presumption because we hear three voices in this, in this album. Tyler, the girl in um hey jane which i think represents when she says hey you gotta put on that the condom tighter represents the girl no maybe actually maybe i'm thinking of wrong because the girl wouldn't tell you to maybe put on that condom tighter i think it's actually two voices now now that i think about it, i think it's two voices i think it's tyler and i think it's his mom this whole album is them going back and forth mom wants a grandchild this this and that and at the same time hey you gotta put on that condom tighter but mom at the same time is regretting. Maybe I, maybe I got to listen to that again. I got to listen to that again. But like him, goes back to think the mom. Mom comparing him to that, that person. No, no, I can't say that. I don't think that was mom. I think I'm still, maybe maybe it's two, three, two to three voices. It has to be a girl. It has to be, it's definitely, the mom is definitely in there. And I have to say the girl. It has to be a girl that he's involved with. Because when he talks about like him, he's being compared to two different people. And that person that comes in at the end and says, hey, I'm sorry for comparing to him. I'm sorry that, you know, this, this, and this, and that. He was taller. He was he was charismatic. Da, 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 and that's not you. I'm sorry for that. And maybe that goes back to again to, uh, hey, Jane. You know, maybe he's calling back to like, you compared me like him and I, I was not him. So, and that's why, and I hope you find home. He's talking to both of them. He's talking to his mom. He's talking to his girl. He's, hey, I hope you find this. But mom, at the end of the day, mom is just proud. I think mom has now realized that, hey, my son is a superstar. My son is a wonderful man. My son takes care of me. My son is all this that I could require. And I'm thankful for that. That's my rough understanding of it. But I have to say that I think we have an we have a classic on our hands. I was looking through our Reddit. People were confused or underwhelmed with this. And I could see where they're coming from because it's not the typical Tyler they're used to. And honestly, to me, I like when an artist is vulnerable. I like when Kanye is vulnerable. I uh, like 444. I was in high school when 444 came out and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. 
But as I get older, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I've added more songs from that album. Honestly, that's a classic. Maybe people don't understand, don't see it now, but they will once we grow up and you understand. You want to leave a legacy. You want to you want to leave something for your kids. You want to you want to the things that that you hold it when you were a kid matter now that you're an adult. I think that's that's where I see 444 and that's where I see Chromocopia going. Chromocopia is holding on to those things that he liked. Tyler was a kid, but now he's realizing this is a new age. I'm not I'm no longer in my youth. I am going to be on a not be an adult, but like now I need to face a new overcoming of like do I accept to have a kid? Am I I need to start getting ready to have kids because my mom needs a grandson. It's people who are who love me want more from me and I'm just maybe not ready or maybe I'm not willing to give it to it. Or maybe also he's also afraid of what he, he might become like his dad and maybe run away and never and the kid will never know his dad or something like that. But the mom will probably tell him like, yo, that's your dad right there. Like, he's the title of the creator or whatever. But albums like these definitely tell a story and definitely I'm I'm not a Tyler Creator fan, but I appreciate his music, so I always listen to it. Whenever he drops an album, I'll listen to it. The last album was not my favorite. I'm gonna say that, but it was too much, too much of maybe I'm not ready, but I'll listen back again. I'm willing to give it another chance. But this one right here, I'm gonna give it a rating of nine point ten. I mean, nine point five out of ten. Nine point five out of ten, and I'm gonna put. My favorite songs right here, my favorite one being Noid, because that was just, it just, it was just, I don't know, it just spoke to me. My second favorite is definitely, I hope you find your way home, uh, Saint Chroma, and uh, Sticky was good, um, Sexy Red and all of them did their thing, I like that, but I just think that one's just a hit, and not, not, nothing really is there for value to eat. But I feel like the rest of the album is Darling Jane, Judge Judy, Noid. There is definitely something in there that we need to uncover and understand where he is as an artist. He's definitely maturing. He's definitely he's definitely coming to a different person. And that's what I like to see. His production is getting better. The choir is getting better. Or maybe it has always been better. And I like to see it. Honestly, Tyler, you did yourself out here. I feel like... When you have this one, one representation of, of, of an artist, it's always good when when you listen to that album again. You listen to an album that, that you think is going to be like this one type of album, and it's not. He's showing maturity. Something that Drake's album, which was um, for the brothers, whatever, for all the dogs, didn't do. I had this type of, oh, for all the dogs, something's going to be like, yo, we're going to go back to the old Drake. But... I'll save that for another day. Honestly, Tyler, this was definitely a good album. I like it. Um, I wish more artists that we've grown up on do this more and just get vulnerable with us. Tell us what, what's on your mind because at this point, we've already invested in you. Just tell us at that point. So that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Like share subscribe it really helps the channel and peace look bro finger itching niggas penny pitching i ain't even gonna act like i ain't been there it's just been a minute they see me out and then salute nigga i've been lieutenant ex bitch trying to spin back but her subscription ended